Naples is the third largest city in Italy and one of the largest Mediterranean seaports set in the heart of the Campania region. The city is best known for the most delicious pizza in Italy, its impressive history and Mount Vesuvius, an active volcano rising above the Bay of Naples. Due to its diverse cultural heritage and proximity to famous destinations such as Pompeii, Sorrento, Capri Island and Amalfi Coast, the port of Naples is a frequent stop in Mediterranean cruise itineraries. In this video, I will guide you through the port of Naples and show you the best things to do in this unique port, including how to get to Pompeii and Sorrento. The port of Naples is the third largest port in Italy and is located within a short walk from Naples' historic center. The Naples cruise terminal is called Stazione Maritima and it consists of several piers. The main pier where the cruise ships dock is Mollo Beverello, situated next to the busy marina and 100 meters away from the ferry port terminal from where you can take ferries to Sorrento and Capri Island. The terminal building is large and consists of a multitude of modern facilities such as a brand new shopping mall, tourist information desks, ATMs, a cafeteria and a spacious parking lot for tour buses and taxis. Upon exiting the cruise terminal, you will find a lot of vendors, taxi drivers and tour operators offering tours to Amalfi Coast, Sorrento, Pompeii and other destinations. However, I always advise you to plan your visit in advance and book the tours online if you are sure you want to do the tour. In the description of this video, I will leave you the links to tours and services you can book. For those of you who decide to stay in Naples, keep watching as I am about to show you the best places to visit and do in this diverse city. The best way to explore Naples is definitely on foot, but if you mind walking you can get around by metro that connects all the main attractions of the city. There are two metro lines and the nearest metro station to the port is Piazza Municipio, right across the terminal. A 90-minute ticket costs 1 euro 50, while the daily ticket starts from 4 euro 50. You can purchase the tickets at tobacco stores, kiosks and ticket machines. Upon exiting the cruise terminal, on your left side you'll spot Castel Nuovo, a massive 13th century military castle that dominates the harbour and Piazza Municipio. The castle has five imposing towers and served as a royal seat for the kings of Naples, Aragon and Spain until 1815. Today, Castle Nuovo houses a civic museum that you can visit for a small fee. Next to Castel Nuovo, you will also find a hop-on-hop of bus stop, where you can hop on a tour around the city and its surroundings. Here, you can also book a shuttle transfer to Pompeii. Continue walking and in 5 minutes you will reach Piazza del Plebiscito, one of the largest and most beautiful squares in Naples, dating from the 19th century. With its 53-meter-high dome and Greek-style columns, a large monumental San Francesco di Paola church dominates the square. Simple yet impressive, the interior of the church features valuable and beautiful architecture and artwork. The renowned 18th century Teatro di San Carlo, as well as the 17th century Palazzo Reale di Napoli, are two other important buildings that you can see around the square. Just across the square, you can access Via Chiaia and Via Toledo, lined with countless shops, restaurants, bars and pizzerias, offering mouth-watering pizzas, pasta and other Italian dishes. Via Toledo is the main pedestrian street in Naples and lies in the heart of the old town. It is long and packed with people and the true shopping paradise as you can see. From Via Toledo, just across the square from Piazza del Plebiscito, you can also visit Galleria Umberto I, a cross-shaped glass and iron-covered public shopping gallery built in the 19th century declared by UNESCO a World Heritage Site. Featuring a large glass dome and the Art Nouveau architectural style, the gallery is home to numerous cafes and shops 
and you can access it for free. In Via Toledo, you can also take a funicular to Castel Sant Elmo, a medieval fortress sitting on the top of Omero Hill overlooking the city of Naples. This star-shaped castle dates from the 14th century and you can visit it for 5 euros. From the top of the castle, you can enjoy the spectacular panorama of the entire city, Vesuvius volcano, bays and islands. Be sure to come earlier in the morning because the crowds can get bigger around noon. When visiting this part of the city, keep in mind there is another viewing platform just below the castle, so you don't need to climb the castle to enjoy the fantastic views. In Naples' old town, within a 15-minute walk from Via Toledo, you can also visit Duomo di Napoli, or Naples Cathedral, the main church of Naples dating from the 14th century. It boasts a stunning neo-gothic facade and an equally impressive interior featuring art-filled chapels and the 4th century mosaics and relics. Not far from there, Spacanapoli is another famous street that traverses the historic center. Make sure you explore its historic churches, palaces, bustling piazzas, unique shops and the large number of restaurants, bars and open-air cafes. One of the nearby squares is Piazza del Gesù Nuovo, dominated by the church of the same name, known for its unique façade. When in Naples, you must try the pizza. Wherever you taste it, it's guaranteed to be delicious and the best pizza you've tried. If you have time, you can visit L'Antica Pizzeria da Michele, where Julia Roberts was featured indulging in a slice of pizza in the Eat, Pray, Love. The pizzeria is only 20 minutes walk from the port. If you are into archaeology and history, do not miss the National Archaeological Museum and Galleria Borbonica, or the Bourbon Gallery, an impressive underground passage built for the military purposes to connect the royal palace to military barracks in Naples. If you decide to visit Pompeii ruins, you can book a guided tour with your cruise line or an independent tour operator, or you can go there by train. Circum Vesuviana is a regional train line that serves the area around Mount Vesuvius and connects Naples to Herculaneum, Pompeii and Sorrento. This line departs from the lower level of Napoli Central Station at Piazza Garibaldi, located around 25-minute walk from the port. To get to Naples Central Station, you can take a metro and Piazza Municipio and in 10 to 15 minutes you will be there. The tickets for this line cannot be purchased online, but are available directly at the station. Alternatively, you can take the Campania Express train, a special version of the Circum Vesuviana train line that only has a few stops and is a more comfortable option. However, these trains are faster and more expensive and there are only a few departures per day. In the description, I will leave you the links where you can check out the Circum Vesuviana train timetables so you can plan your trip accordingly. At Pompeii, you should get off at Pompeii Scavi Villa dei Misteri train station from where you can walk to the ruins. There are a few entrances to Pompeii Archaeological Park and if you are coming by bus, you will probably access it from the main entrance. In this area, you will find a large parking for buses and cars, along with several restaurants and local vendors offering their products and services. The entrance ticket for Pompeii costs 18 euros and upon entering you can freely download the My Pompeii app a self-guide to Pompeii that will help you plan your itinerary. Pompeii Archaeological Site has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most visited attractions in Italy. Nestled at the foothills of Mount Vesuvius, the ancient city of Pompeii was buried under 4 to 6 meters of volcanic ash and pumice in the eruption of the powerful Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The everyday life of this wealthy city was frozen at the moment it was buried, 
Thus, the excavated site offered a unique snapshot of Roman life and its inhabitants. Today, visitors can roam through the elegantly paved streets of ancient Pompeii, admire the ruins of the lavish mansions and villas of distinguished Romans, visit their elaborate bathhouses, Roman temples and more. While there, make sure you visit the Forum of Pompeii, which was used as the center of activity and commerce in the town. Not far from the Forum, the Temple of Apollo, also known as the Sanctuary of Apollo, is a Roman temple built in 120 BC and dedicated to the Greek and Roman god Apollo. Do not miss to visit Pompey's brothel and see the built-in beds, graffiti and interesting frescoes of various sexual positions lining the walls. Another unique thing you can see is the preserved plaster costs that immortalize the intimate moments of Pompey's residents. These can be found in a few locations in Pompeii, such as Machellum and Orto dei Fugiaschi. Next, I suggest you explore the remains of lavish villas and mansions of rich Romans, such as House of Veti and House of the Faun, where you can admire the impressive mosaics, statues and artwork. Pompeii also boasts marvelous gardens and ancient vineyards that you can also explore by yourself. Top off your visit with the amphitheater, the oldest known amphitheater in ancient Rome, built on the edge of the city, dating from 70 BC. When visiting Pompeii in a day, make sure you organize your day in advance so you can fully take advantage of this spectacular site. You can book a tour or explore the site at your own pace, but in this case make sure to study the map of Pompeii so you can cover the most important sites. Sorrento is another beautiful town you can visit on a day trip from Naples. You can either book a tour or take a train to this lovely town nestled about 50 kilometers from the port of Naples. Circum Vesuviana train line goes to Sorrento and it's highly recommended if you want to enjoy the town at your own pace. Just make sure you plan your day based on the train timetables. Taxi is an alternative option, but it can cost you more than 200 euros per vehicle one way. Upon arriving at Sorrento Central Station, the city center will be within a 10-minute walk from there. Sorrento boasts a scenic coastline, gorgeous landscapes and a multitude of colorful houses. It is widely known for its wood carving traditions, ceramics and lacework shops. You can stroll through its lively Tasso Square, the central square where you will find quaint shops, restaurants and bars serving delicious Italian specialties and local wine. Make sure you taste the local seafood and the iconic limoncello, a drink produced from lemons grown on the Sorrento Peninsula and the island of Capri. Delight in the views of the picturesque port of Sorrento from Marina Piccola, located only a few minutes walk from Tasso Square and Marina Grande, another port offering scenic views of the harbour. Browse the shops of Corso Italia, the main shopping hub of the city, and visit the beautiful Cathedral of Sorrento. Sorrento is also known for its stunning gardens, and one of them is Villa Comunale, offering gorgeous views of the bay. Amalfi Coast and Capri Islands are also popular day trips from Naples and are best visited on a guided tour due to your limited time in port. History buffs should explore the Herculaneum ruins, located close to Pompeii, and adventure seekers should explore the mighty Vesuvius on a guided hiking tour. Numerous options are available and you can read about them in detail in my article about Naples. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, click on the subscribe button for more fresh cruise travel content.